All right, guys, so I stumbled across this very interesting TikTok that's been making its rounds on the internet. And I want to know you guys' opinion on this. Uh, considering how we've been talking a whole lot about uh, the agenda that the Democrat Party has been pushing on uh, children, particularly in, in schools, um, I think there's a much broader conversation about uh, some things that you know adults are, are saying to kids that as a society we, we need to address and in this TikTok here uh that we're going to talk about this woman posted on the internet right for whatever reason uh in which she tells a story about how um she basically told her son's friend in high school um to come see her for some birthday cake uh when he gets older right and uh, apparently, uh, that kid followed through on that. <laughs> I want you guys to watch the TikTok, and then we're going to talk about it. Take a look. Don't you hate when you tell somebody something, and they remind you of what you said, and you be a woman of your word, and you got to keep your word? So I was this little boy that used to go to school with my kids, little Romeo. And I just watched him. He was polite and nice, always just there, take out the trash, give me a little hug. I remember watching him at prom, and I said, you are so cute. You know what? When you get 25, if I'm still alive, <laughs> you come see me. Why that boy knock on my door the other day? And he was like, Miss A. Marie, you remember me? I said, yeah. He said, I'll be 25 tomorrow, tomorrow my birthday. You remember what you said? I said, you remember that? He said, yes, I remember it. I thought about it every day. I said, is that right? I said, you know what? I am a woman of my word. I can't say something and not hold up to it. But, uh. Bring your birth certificate and stop by tomorrow on your birthday. And I got some birthday cake for you, okay? I'm a woman of my word. <laughs> now, I don't know if that's a joke or not, but I feel like it's not, okay? I've looked at uh, this woman's uh, TikTok after discovering this video. And uh, let's just say I can definitely understand why this kid was allegedly thinking about what this woman told him every single day until he finally turned 25 and i feel really 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 bad for this mom's kid okay because again his mom apparently allegedly is at high school basically <laughs> trying to scout out her son's friends uh to come over and uh get some birthday cake <laughs> in the future right I mean, how embarrassing is that? Okay, I could never imagine myself in, in a situation like that. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to look at my friends the same ever again, knowing that, um, you know, my mom uh, <laughs> wants to give them some birthday cake. Okay, that, again, is very, very, very <laughs> embarrassing. It's the Jada Pickett Smith situation, okay? Apparently, we have older women out here uh, that are trying to prey on guys that are in their, you know, early 20s. And some of these women are going as far as to start scouting some of these young men while they're in high school, while they're teenagers, right? Apparently, that's a thing. Actually, I, I know it's a thing because I've actually uh, had that experience before uh, when I was in high school. Something similar to this, but not quite to this level of creepiness okay uh as i worked at a grocery store when i was 16 17 18 years old and i don't remember exactly what age it was that this happened but there used to be this lady that used to come in all the time um who was older like maybe a 45 maybe 50 year old uh white lady that's what she looked like that's the age range she was and just to give you guys an idea of what this lady kind of looked like she was a very skinny lady that would come in all the time in high heels tight pants and she had big fake breast okay i'm just giving you guys a description of this woman and sometimes she would come in with a guy um that i'm assuming that she's saying i didn't know if that was her husband her boyfriend or what all i know is that every time she would come in she would come to my cash register and give me these very 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 seductive looks okay very seductive looks every single time okay and she would do things that was so weird like she would leave the cash register and then like walk out, but look at me the whole time, <laughs> like staring in my eyes as she's walking out. Okay. It, it was very, very, very weird. Uh, and she would do this regardless of if she was with her man or not. Okay. I've literally seen this woman walk out the door, holding her man's hand while looking back at me. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm like 16, 17 years old. 
And uh, eventually she gave me her number, right? She slid me her number while she was paying in cash. Now, um, <laughs> I didn't really follow up on it, but I'm just saying, uh, I, I think we know what the intentions were with that. So I'm just saying this stuff happens a lot more than you think, okay? Because I personally had experiences with that type of stuff. Um, but with that being said, I think that we can agree that this is wrong. Okay. This is wrong because if this was a man doing this, if a man went to his daughter's high school prom and told his daughter's friends, her female friends that, Hey, you know, when you turn 25 or whatever, come see me. Uh, I think everybody would be calling that man a predator. Everybody would agree that he should be locked up somewhere and put on a watch list. If he posted the video on social media, he would be kicked off of social media. He would be shunned, okay? And rightfully so, because everybody would agree that that is wrong, that men cannot do that, right? You cannot sit here and go to high school proms and prey on uh, high school girls and tell them to come see you when you get older, right? That That is not okay. Or put it this way. At the very least, there's a double standard here, okay? There's a double standard in regards to how men are treated when they participate in this behavior versus how women are treated when they participate in this behavior. Now, there's some men out here that say, hey, you know what? I am totally fine with this double standard, okay? Because, you know, men and women are different. Um, but, you know, in, in my opinion, I'm just saying, I, I think that this type of stuff does have an effect on, on young uh, teenagers, uh, and this stuff also happens at even younger ages than that. You know, I mean, you do have these older women that will, you know, say stuff like this to, you know, five, six, seven, eight year old boys. And, um, you know, it, it all seems innocent, right? At the time until that young boy, particularly this guy, he was a teenager. He was actually old enough to, to remember, uh, follows up on that, right? Spends the first part of his twenties dreaming about this grandma, right? And following up with her for some birthday cake. Now, Hey, she says she's a woman of her word, <laughs> and allegedly, uh, she kept her promise. Uh, so, you know, hey, he's 25, he's an adult. I mean, what can I say? But I'm just saying, uh, if this was a man doing this, I, I don't think this would be acceptable. <laughs> I think there would be a lot of backlash for this type of behavior. So, who knows? Maybe this was a joke, and <laughs> maybe it wasn't a joke. Uh, I don't know, but what I do know is that this stuff definitely happens. And I want to know what you guys think about this. Do y'all think that the double standard here is okay, right? Do you think that it is okay for older women, grandmas like this to be approaching their sons, friends at prom and telling them to come see them uh, when they get older? Or do you think that uh, this is wrong across the board, regardless of whether or not men or women do this, that it's just wrong? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.